in lesson 11, we're going to learn about saving and loading documents. I'll show you how to save your document on your hard drive, load it back up again, and then save a copy of it with some changes. Now that I'm done typing in my letter, I want to save a copy of this letter on my computer's hard drive. This is so I can pull it up anytime in the future if I want to look up what I said to Mr. Schwarzenoffer. To save your document, come up here to the Quick Access Toolbar and click on the Save button. It looks like a little floppy disk. Go ahead and click on that. Word will open up the Save As dialog box. And generally, you'll find yourself in your Documents folder. I say generally because if you're in an office where the computer guys have set you up to save your documents on a file server or somewhere else on your network, this might not be your documents folder. But for most users, especially people at home, you're going to find yourself in your documents folder. In here, you might see some other folders. For example, I have a video recordings folder and other documents. For example, I have a Microsoft Word outline down here. But for now, just ignore this stuff. Down on the bottom here, it says file name. Now Microsoft Word has tried to create a file name for you based on the contents of your document. If you want to change it, just simply come in here and click and you can type in your own file name. For example, I want to type in, let's say, letter to Mr. Schwarzenoffer. So I'm going to get rid of all this. I'll highlight it and press delete on my keyboard. And I'll type in letter to Mr. Schwarzenoffer. Now, the type of document right here where it says Word Document Star dot DOCX, that type of document can change. You can save your document as plain text or as a different Word version. And we'll talk about that in a future lesson. But for now, just come down here and click on the Save button. Now I'm back in my document, and notice across the title bar on the top, it says letter to Mr. Schwarzenoffer dot DOCX. DOCX basically says this is a Word document. That's how Windows knows what program owns this data file. That's called a file extension, and I talk more about those in my Microsoft Windows classes. Now that my document is saved, I can feel confident that if I close Microsoft Word down, a copy of my document exists on my computer's hard drive, my permanent storage. So I can close down Word and know that my document is safe. I can now shut down my computer, go to lunch, and later on come back and open up Word and find my document. So now I'm back from lunch. I want to open up Word and find my document. Well, let's click on my Start button. And I'll find Microsoft Word. Now notice since I've used Word recently, it's right here directly on the Start menu. If not, I can go back into All Programs and find it there. So I'll just click on Word here to open it up. And here's Microsoft Word. Now to find documents that you've recently saved, I'm going to click on the Office button. And notice on the right-hand side here, it says Recent Documents. This will be a list of documents that you've worked on recently. For example, the number one document on here is my letter to Mr. Schwarzenoffer. And previously, I worked on my Microsoft Word outline for this class, in fact. So to open one of them up, just click on them. And there's my document. It loads right up. You can scroll down and make changes and do whatever you'd like. Now let's say I've opened Word. And this time, let's pretend that the document that we want is not on this list. Let's pretend it's not here. Let's say we worked on it two weeks ago, and it's not a recent document because I've worked on a bunch of other stuff since then. Well, you can click on the Open button right here to open up your Documents folder. That will take you right to your Documents folder. If not, if you're in any other folder, just come over here on the left and click on Documents under Favorite Links. And now to open up any of these files, just click on it and click on the Open button 
or you can simply double click on the file. And again, a copy of your letter opens up. Now that I have this letter finished, I'd like to send a similar letter, in fact almost an exact copy of this letter, to a different customer. So let's scroll down and make some changes. The first thing obviously is the customer's name and address. So let's say this is Mr. David Smith. I'll just highlight William Schwartzen offer and start typing over it. David Smith. See that? When you highlight some text, you can press delete or backspace to delete it or just start typing over it. What you type in will replace the text that was there. And let's change his address. I'll select all of this text and I'll type in 77 Marigold Drive Shift Enter Amherst, New York 14226 Scroll down. I'll change his name here. Mr. Smith. And reviewing the rest of this document, everything else looks fine. Except the PS. I'll change this as well. By the way, Mr. Smith. And now I'm ready to save my document. Now be very careful. If you click on the Save button again, Microsoft Word will save this letter with whatever file name you've already given it. So it will save a copy of this right over the letter to Mr. Schwarzenhofer. And I want to make sure that I mention this because I'm guilty of this myself. I do this all the time. I open up a document, I make some changes, and then I just hit the Save button, and it erases the previous document and saves my changes over the previous letter. So in this case, we want to save a copy of this letter with a different file name. So click on the Office button, and then come down here and click on Save As. Now a side menu appears where you can change the format. You can save it as a template, or a Word 97 2003 document. Don't worry about all that stuff. We'll talk about that in a future lesson. For now, just click right here on the Save As button itself. That will save this as a Word document, but allow you to change the file name. So I'll just come in here and change the letter to Mr. Smith. And now I'll click on Save. Now notice my file name has changed to Letter to Mr. Smith. And if I check my Documents folder by opening up my Office button and then go to Open, you'll see I now have Letter to Mr. Smith in addition to Letter to Mr. Schwarzenhofer. So I didn't delete the original.